In June of 2021, Trevor Bauer was put under investigation for allegedly assaulting a woman during an encounter the month prior. Soon after, Major League Baseball placed Bauer on paid administrative leave, and he's been on that paid administrative leave to this day. On August 20 of 2021, the temporary restraining order against Bauer put forward by the woman was removed after a judge determined that Bauer did not pose a threat to the woman's immediate safety. And on February 8th of 2022, the Los Angeles County District Attorney announced that they would not be filing any criminal charges against Bauer related to these incidents because of a lack of evidence to it. Like I mentioned, Bauer has still yet to be taken off of administrative leave by Major League Baseball and has not pitched in a game since June 28th of 2021. He's still getting his record-setting average annual salary with the Dodgers, but I'm sure he's not very happy with the fact that this has prevented him from pitching. As of now, Bauer is flipping the switch, turning the tides, and putting forth a lawsuit of his own. Bauer was in the middle of a hot run for himself. He was coming off of a National League Cy Young Award win in 2020, which earned him a ton of dough in free agency with the defending World Series champion Dodgers. He started off the 2021 season very well with the Dodgers, and then things started to come crashing down, not on the field, but off of it. On June 30th of 2021, just two days after Bauer pitched his final game of the 2021 season and for the foreseeable future, The Athletic came out with a report that the woman suffered a fracture to her skull as a result of the encounter from Bauer. Well, it turns out that was not true. Over the last several months, Trevor Bauer has been vlogging and uploading videos to his YouTube channel. He wants to pitch, and he wants to as soon as possible, and although that could happen soon, he's not going to be in a dugout for opening day. Major League Baseball and the Players Union recently agreed to extend Bauer's paid administrative leave even longer, now through into the second week of the 2022 regular season. Molly Knight is a woman who has written for a good amount of places over the years. The New York Times Magazine, Vanity Fair, ESPN, Men's Health, Marie Claire, The Athletic, Self, and Variety, among others, also covering the Dodgers for many years. She also wrote a book called The Best Team Money Can Buy, the Los Angeles Dodgers' wild struggle to build a baseball powerhouse, and it became an immediate New York Times bestseller. It was also a finalist for the Penn America Award in sports writing. When the Bauer stuff initially went down, she was all over it, showing very clearly that she is not a fan of him. On March 29, 2022, Trevor Bauer officially fired back filing a lawsuit of his own, one in which he accused multiple outlets of defaming him. Bauer is suing The Athletic, Deadspin, and former writer for The Athletic, Molly Knight, for those very reasons. It's a 26-page complaint filed in U.S. District Court in Los Angeles against The Athletic media company and Knight. In the lawsuit, Bauer claims that Knight acted with actual malice because both she and The Athletic deliberately ignored the truth, which was evident in the medical records possessed by The Athletic. What he's referring to are the medical records that show the woman did not indeed have a fracture to her skull. Athletic spokesman Taylor Patterson said in an email that they are aware of legal action taken by Trevor Bauer and are confident in the reporting while also planning to defend against the claim. Knight, on the other hand, did not reply to an email sent to her by ESPN. In other words, having no comment. So Bauer is not getting charged, and at the end of the day, will eventually be back in baseball. But the question is what team it will be with. It has been heavily implied that the Dodgers clubhouse collectively doesn't want Bauer back as a teammate. It doesn't really matter how good he can be, because bringing a guy back into a clubhouse where nobody wants him isn't going to necessarily translate to on-field success. So Bauer has officially now filed this lawsuit, and it will be interesting to see how it all plays out. Let me know what you think of all this, and thank you for watching.